the film a little bit, Hell Week. Um, is this why the the motivation behind the film? It's like there's probably so many women out there or young women out there that don't even know they have this, and they they think they're all alone, and maybe they are ashamed, and maybe they are having these these thoughts about what's wrong with them. Why why am I going through this? Was that the motivation to make this film and go, hey, hey you're not alone. Here's what it is. Let's you know talk about it. Yeah, it was something that I guess I knew I wanted to make a film. I had just moved to L.A. I knew I wanted to make a short film. I didn't really know what I wanted to make it about at first. And then the idea came to me and I was like, oh, man, I really do not want to do this. Like, I really <laughs> do not because I was like, I would be exposing myself. You know, everybody would know Marisha has PMDD. And that was super, super vulnerable. But everyone says, write what you know. And I know that like the back of my hand. And so I knew that. I needed to do that. I decided, you know what? I don't I don't want to make a PSA. I don't want to make something that's overtly kind of just thrown in your face and about facts and you know, statistics. I wanted to make something that was relatable. And so that's kind of when I came up with the dark comedy concept of it. And I really initially did not know what to expect. I kind of thought that it would just be something I shared with a group or something I shared with, you know, friends and family who <coughs> might understand it. But once it came out, uh, actually at the premiere of the film festival, I had women right after the festival coming up to me, like, can you send this to my husband? And like, <laughs> thank you so much. And like, I just got diagnosed and this is so helpful. So it has turned into something that I'm just so grateful for. And it feels so rewarding just to see how many women can relate and, and just laugh at it and really just truly really feel like, okay, wow, I feel seen and, and heard. Mm. Oh yeah, most definitely. Was this your first film? This is my first film putting out there. I have mm -hmm. written and produced other films that I'm kind of still pitching, but this was something that a body of work I wanted to put out there and have the festivals kind of run it. Well, oh, that's and fantastic because I, it was, I thought, beautifully lit. It was beautifully shot. And honestly, <coughs> the editor, that I feel like they get the most kudos. It was amazing overall, but the editor, the way they were able to cut between scenes and cut between shots where, you know, it's you playing the other version of you. So, yeah. I mean, I just thought that was amazing <laughs> to see, especially when you're laying on her lap and being able to, you know, cut back and forth to when you rise up to see them. I, I just, yeah, we're, we're filmmaking geeks ourselves. So to be able to see <laughs> that, it was, uh, it was really cool and a really great, you know, first run out. So, I mean, kudos to you. And always remember that, you know, nobody is our every film is not going to be mass popularized it's not going to be loved by mass audiences our first film was a very social justice project uh dealing with mental health gun violence uh, interracial lesbian couple um it did not get received well by um a lot of Half people the country but it's one of those things that we're still really proud of it and filmmakers see the passion and the effort that we put into it and the amount of love that we got means so much more than the amount of hate or discrimination that we got. So always keep that with you and keep moving forward to your next project because, I mean, things can get discouraging, but it's all about what it made you feel like. You create films for your creativity, and that's the most important thing. And I think you told an amazing story with Hell Week.